I knew you were there the whole time. Um, I really thought it was gonna get you. Rhythm is gonna get you, Gloria Stefan told us. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna alienate a lot of fans. I don't know who Gloria. Not Stefan a Gloria is. Stefan fan. What do you mean? Who who are you alienating to? The the, the massive. A lot of Cubans. The, the Puerto Ricans. The swath. We don't loot them together. I don't know. What is she? She's, she's from she, she, Miami Sound Machine. Miami Sound. Miami. Miami Sound. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Miami Sound Machine. What does it mean? She's either Cuban or Puerto Rican. Well, she is. She's uh, isn't she uh, Cuban? Drew. There it is. Gloria, Gloria Stefan, she's, she's big in the Cuban uh, you community. You know that because of Drew. Don't Nick. ever touch my nose again. <laughs> That's a weird. Unless you're holding a glass of Chardonnay. I, <laughs> that will forever be our best inside joke. Yeah, it and is We're really, not going to tell you. We're not going to tell you what that is, but it was really good. <laughs> I couldn't um, figure out which camera to look to, by the way. I literally <laughs> swatted. All three of them, I was like, and we're not going to tell you what that means. I you just, just want to cover all bases so they can't edit that part out. Nope. Um, no, I was, I've never been a big Gloria Stefan fan. I, I know she's talented, and that's great. Gloria I just said that, 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 that music, the maracas and the bongos and all that. It just, it just okay. makes me go. <laughs> okay, first of all, I don't think Gloria Stefan is a huge Gloria Stefan fan, but... They, she's like, she looks every day. She wakes up. She goes, she's like, I hate you, Gloria. Stephon. I mean, no, not hate. Hey, just like you're okay. Like, I'm not like, ah, well, I'm you're fine. Bad. But I submit it to you. You cannot be in a bad mood and listen to Tejano. It can put me in a bad mood. No. How? It is the most. <laughs> it's like okay. overuse of trumpets. So that's mariachi. There's a, there's a huge difference. Tejano's a Selena, right? <laughs> Selena was a great. 20 years ago, yes. Well, that's, um, that's all I... Yes, think. and we still are... Mar mariachi is like, you can't be in a bad mood listening to them. Unless yeah, you're at dinner, go. and they won't go away. Like and you're trying to break up with your significant other. So I think that Susan... Yeah. Is, thank you. Um, this has meant a lot to me. I just thank you so much. Uh, I, I, I just. Uh, I want to break up with you. Oh my god. <laughs> and she leaves with them too. By the way, she's like, they're. Have you ever had directing. a real Mexican coke? <laughs> <laughs> hey, no. Real sugar in your soda, no. kids. Real sugar in your soda. No. Take that what one to the bank. What does that even mean? You <laughs> took something that was beautiful. I would go out of my way for Mexican Coke. Seriously, the real would Mexican Coke. Oh my God. Like, if I ever saw them at uh, the grocery store that I... Frequent? That, that frequent, that gets my patronage. You just had to use a word that most people don't know, don't you? Yeah. I, I feel I feel this word. It's like, oh, uh, this is a, this is one of our patrons. So I was like, are you patronizing? You're like, oh, is it on aisle seven? Mm. Every episode, this is a little known fact, uh, a retro replay for everybody. Every after every episode, I go home and get my dictionary, and I have a list of words that he says that I go. Mm, really, I had, I have two degrees, and I'm like, I don't know what that meant. Oh, yeah. I don't. I I never like to just gloss over this. You have two degrees. Two. One wasn't enough. You have two of them. Uh, because I didn't have any prospects, and <laughs> I I basically I was dating someone who was in law school when I got out of college, uh -huh. and it was it was like. You know, I met her parents, and they were like, "So you're just going to waiter, bartend." I'm going to That's wait. That's great. She's she's daughter. going to law school. Mm. Maybe should you think about graduate school? No, I'm just gonna live off her. And I'm like, yeah, I, you know what, sir? You have a, sh a shit ton of money. I thought maybe you could just hook me up with like a bike or something. Was it kind of like awkward? Like um... I know I didn't know what to do. I went back into the cocoon of education, as it were. The cocoon of education. And it just because, uh, and I put myself through grad school and. It, I I got a degree and I got a two degrees. Funny thing is, like, I, so I had a journalism degree coming out of college, and then you get out. But because I was playing baseball, I didn't do the the internships and everything that to get the real world experience. So by the time I got out, I, I wasn't hireable. You were kind of like John Cusack and say anything. 
don't know. I can't figure it all out tonight, so I'm just going to hang with your daughter. Yes, so that was me, uh, minus the kickboxing. Mm. Um, I did spend a lot of time uh, outside people's houses with my boombox. <laughs> Blasting. Just blasting. In your eyes. But I didn't do Peter Gabriel. What did you do? I had mariachi music. <laughs> a way to bring it in. Bring it around. Hey. There it is. We have, a, we have a new sponsor today. We have a great sponsor today. Manscaped.com. Uh, number one in men's below the belt grooming. Offering precision engineering tools for your family jewels. For your family jewels, do you have you ever had that little whoopsies, little Nick, little little Nick Cage that shouldn't shouldn't have been there? My little Nick Cage. Uh, uh, I, I will I will profess to you. This is this is not made up at all. Okay. Uh, going out, big date. Want to look my best. Uh, want to clean up. Want to clean up. Clean up the, the area. situation. Yeah. Um, and uh, I, it may have been a little bit too rushed. And you, you know, you, there's no good way to do that, right? Mm. And I, I, uh, I, I gave myself a good nick, and that, that will put a damper on the night, you know, because uh, you can go. Mm. Often a guy will go out on on a date and go, I wonder how this night's gonna end. Um, and for once, it felt good to go. I know where this is not going, <laughs> because you can't. <laughs> I know how this night's gonna end. The emergency room. The emergency My room. testicles will not stop bleeding. The good thing is, uh, manscaping accidents are finally a thing of the past. You don't use the same term on your face as using on your balls. It's just nasty, and that's the mistake. I, that I, I just love the way they do this. Manscaped redesigned the electric trimmer. Okay. Okay. Their lawnmower 2.0. <laughs> I mean, because this is, is a full a yard. Board? Is it? It's a full yard with a pool and a diving board, a long one. That's anyway, why would I do that? Um, I don't know, but uh, Manscaped has redesigned the electric trimmer. Yep. Lawnmower 2.0 proprietary skin safe technology so the trimmer won't nick or snag your nuts. Nick, and that's the... It, I mean, really, because it, it, I guess, guys, we all know, if just the, a grazing... You're, you're done. You're it's, done. It's it's a bad night. Shutting down things for the week. And by the way, it's also it's a scary thing. That's that's a place you don't ever want to bleed from ever. You can't put a band aid on anything though. No. Like what do you do? A little little Snoopy? <laughs> what do you? Uh, and by the way, if we can just cover the first like fundamental thing, you should absolutely be doing something to this, right? It's a garden. You need a garden, you know? Don't let it just be full of weeds. That's why it's Manscaped. Man like Manscaped. So if you think, oh, it's not for me, it's for you. If you have one, it's for you. Get 20% off plus free shipping with the code RETRO at manscaped.com. Uh, please click on that link because the good thing is they're here to give us some soup. They're here to give you 20% savings. And when you click on that thing, you show them that you believe in this show and you show us that you believe in us. So it's very important. Click on manscaped.com in the description. Uh, enter the code retro, you get 20% off free, uh, at 20 off and free shipping. My God in heaven. And here's another reason to go check it out, kids. What? From your Uncle Noli. Oh God. Manscaped has a little something called the Crop Preserver, okay? Anti-chafing ball deodorant and moisturizer. This isn't a joke, stop laughing. Now you put a deodorant on your armpits, okay? Let's get it down there in the ball pits, whatever you want to call it, the uh, the runways, the uh, the 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 slick uh, slides. I don't know what you know. Slip and slides. Wash your balls. Nobody likes dirty balls, kids. Take that to the bank. Manscaped.com. What is going to happen, everybody? <laughs> Nolan, no, Troy Baker. It's retro replay. We're on the couch, and uh, you're good at that. It, it's it's well. We just got to get into it because uh, I'm I'm a fan. I'm a fan of these films. Like I'm not quite as much as you were in Matrix, mm. but I just kind of like of the franchise people. or the character. Because I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you. That's my, a really good question. My introduction to this was the cartoon, the Saturday morning cartoon. Roll it. Rambo. Oh, okay. Did you not time know that? out? Did you not know? What that? the hell was that? Yes. No. Dude. No. Oh, yeah. Now, of no, course. No, no, no. First of all, you can't. That should never have been never animated. Have been. Right. Because it's probably the only instance where the live action is more violent than any cartoon could be. 
So, yeah. uh, animation, we can do anything. Can you do this to a Vietnamese guy? <laughs> uh, oh my God, we didn't even Nor think of that. Nor should we. What if you took a guy's asshole and you ripped it out and you made him eat it in front of his mother? <laughs> oh my God, no, Sly. Hold on, I got another one. What if you went and you found a rattlesnake, right? <laughs> and you took two rattlesnakes, you tied them together, and then you choked the guy with it, and then you made him eat his balls again. <laughs> What, I mean, the same guy with his asshole? Yeah, he could be him. Right? <laughs> Who is that? Yeah, it's not Sylvester Stallone. Who is it? That's I don't like, know. It's like Sylvester. Like, it's, it's, it's like Frank Stallone. It's, it's, <laughs> no, it's their, it's their other brother, uh, you know, Raymond. <laughs> Raymond's old. So I never got into movies or anything, but I had a stroke when I was nine. <laughs> and you, uh, you were watching Caddyshack when Bill Murray. Caddyshack <laughs> and drinking Mexican Cokes. <laughs> Bring it all around this well, time. Well, I, yeah, I remember seeing, like, First Blood is the first movie, right? Yes, and I saw that. So Rambo is not the first movie. A million times. No, no. Uh, it was, uh, it was uh, yeah, First Blood. First Blood is the first movie. And then Rambo, First Blood Part 2. That's the first one Rambo? I saw, yeah. Oh, you didn't see the first one? No, I didn't see First Blood until later. Brian Dennehy, man. I got to mm. work with him. No, not fucking Brian Do Dennehy. Do no, not fucking Brian Dennehy. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, bye. It was Brian Dennehy. Yeah, it was Brian Dennehy, yeah. Yeah, so Brian uh, Dennehy. John Rambo. Yeah. yeah, so Will right. Teasel and uh, and what's his name? Who's the the Colonel? Uh, yeah. Richard Crenna? Uh, no, but but Brian Dennehy, who <clears throat> sadly passed. <laughs> it's like doing That's the past gas, maybe. <laughs> uh, actually, got to work with him on on an episode of Just Shoot Me, <sighs> and uh, <laughs> no, it might be a what what you'll bring up and pervert Mexican Coke. And ruin that for the rest of my life, but you won't tell a naughty story about being on South not a, not, but, So just shoot me real quick. Uh, uh, it's a I sitcom. will just shoot you really quick. Okay, so I, I did a, uh, an episode of Just Shoot Me. We get to the table read the first day. Len Lesser's at the end of this table, and I sit next to him. Nice to meet you. And everybody's doing their thing, and all the you know just doing their thing. And all of a sudden, Brian Dennehy, like 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 a hurricane, comes into the room. And just uh, and just he owns everything. And he sits down, he puts on his glasses. We go through the whole table read. At the end of the table, he turns to me and he goes, Brian Dennehy. I'm like, Nolan North, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And he gets up. Next day, I get new pages. My character has been completely changed. The original is with I'm Laura San Giacomo. And now it's like, I'm not going to, I'm a former uh, boyfriend of hers. Now I'm not going to get to be with her. And I'm doing everything with Wendy Malick, another person on the show. So all my scenes are with her. So it's a, it's the same character, but a different story. Uh, we sit down in the same seats and the table read. And Brian Denny turns at the end, takes his glasses off, looks at me and goes, Brian Denny. And I go, no, Nolan North. Nice to meet you. And he goes, all right, Nolan, I'll tell you, buddy, that's one thing with this business. Yesterday, some poor schmuck was sitting there. Now he's out, and you're in. Good for you, though, right? And he gets up and walks away, and I watch him walk away, and I feel this little tap on my shoulder. And Len Lesser, Uncle Leo from Seinfeld, grabs me, and he just goes, I know you're the same schmuck. <laughs> It was just like wonderful story, and it was and it was the best takeaway from that whole week. It was it was, it, but he was he talked about Rambo. He would he would tell you all these stories, and you say, "Yeah, I was shooting that bad. Yeah, it was rained all the time." And it, it, he said, "I never thought it was going to be that good." And it, it was just to hearing those inside stories was was awesome because I loved this movie. So he goes from literally nobody in. 76 is when uh, Rocky. Uh, Rocky came out, right? Oh, so you're talking about Stallone? Yeah, yeah, yeah not Brian yeah. Denny. Um, <laughs> Brian Denny's still nobody. Um, oh, he will fight and beat you. Uh, he's, he's as white as a house. No, he he's a uh, terrifying wide man. As he's a house. like a keg with legs. And I think feet. he's hilarious. I, I Tommy! Tommy boy. You know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tommy! <laughs> Sylvester Stallone goes from being nobody in 1976, being a kid in Philly, and writing this Oscar-winning mm -hmm. story, um, and that being his first foray to, and he also did, I think he did it, he was like, only got paid like 25 grand, but he was like, I want to direct this thing, or I, I, I want to, or I want to star this thing. Yeah, so they, it was like, they were like, we want to get somebody else, he's like, no, I star in it, and he got paid nothing, so that he could be it. And of course, becomes this huge iconic movie and wins an Oscar. Um, but then he goes for best screenplay. Best screenplay. Sorry, um, not for best actor. Uh, but by the way, 
I was just talking to my wife Jill about this the it's other day. It's a great performance. It's a great movie. It's a great I movie. I mean, you watch that again. That holds up that it just, it, because it was so well written, you can see it was so real. That was a really good movie. And he trained in every day to to set from... I yeah. Um, I heard these stories from Frank Stallone, um, who's not bitter at all that he's in his brother's shadow. Yep. Big time. Um, he was funny to work with. You go from that to Ram First Blood came out what, 78, 79? Oh. When did it come out? First Blood was in the eighties, right? Was First Blood was in eighty two? Eighty two. Everybody every kid I knew in my neighborhood wanted one of those massive knives. K-bar with, the, knives. With, the, with the yeah, what are they? K bar? K bar knives. With the, the, the teeth on the back and yeah. and ev- just about everybody got one. You know, they started selling these things, and we were walking around. Go, we'd have them, yeah. Well, you'd be walking around your neighborhood, like, let's go out in the woods and just, like, chop up some branches. And we'd go up and chop up branches. We'd play Rambo, hmm. you know. Um, all the little Asian kids would hide. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. They've, they've been watching Rambo again. Ah, get them out. It's like, my name is Alan. <laughs> mm, where are you from? Um, but that was, like, the first one was had nothing to do with Vietnam, right? The first blood... Is is like he, no it, well it did he he was coming home right and it, and it, it was actually uh, spoke to like the mistreatment of uh, Vietnam vets mm. uh, by you know their own people just like well it was a police action it wasn't really a war and it to you know when you're in the action you're getting shot at and your friends are getting killed words it, don't really war. matter yeah it doesn't matter what you want to call it right. so uh, but you know it was just uh, but and they were seen because you know we t- lost. It was one of those things where people saw them, the soldiers as failures. I had a, I had a lot of friends uh, whose uncles, uh, and one guy's dad, never got over it. I mean, they, they suffered serious, serious um, PTSD and, and trauma from that. So. What was that George Carlin bit about? I, I know this. It's phenomenal. It's how words affect us. Mm. World War I, they had, they had something. Uh, the, the soldiers that came back with this thing, it was called, it was... Two words, two syllables. It was shell two, shock. Shell right. shock. Right. And shell shock. It's it's the, the way it, the hard K. It's it's two shell shock, and it, it's like wow, that must be terrible. You have shell shock, and then so so and they were taken care of. Uh, then World War Two showed up, and World War Two they, they came back with the same uh, problem, but they wanted to soften it. it wasn't shell shock anymore. It's now called. Battle fatigue, mm. two syllables to four, battle fatigue. So you'd say, oh, you're tired. Why don't you take a rest? You've been in battle. You're not shell shock. So we want shell shock to battle fatigue to finally going from two to four to eight syllables. Now let's double that again to post-traumatic stress disorder. Now it's a disorder. Something's wrong with you. Mm. Uh, it's just, it's post-trauma. So it's after the trauma. Kind of. And he said if, if they had stayed with the name shell shock, maybe these vets... In Vietnam and the Korean War, the same thing would have it would have had would have gone through would have gotten the help they needed, mm. uh, just because of the terminology. We just we watered it down with language that people not everybody can understand. If we'd have still been calling it shell shock, some of those Vietnam veterans might have gotten the attention they needed at the time. The point is, with Rambo, he was like the poster child for post traumatic stress disorder, and all he wanted to do was be left alone, and Brian Dennehy and the boys couldn't, and. One of my favorite little seg- segments of any movie is in First Blood. Hey, Tiger, don't forget to wash behind his ears. When they finally arrest him and they're de-lousing him, the guy's just sitting there. They're watching naked Stallone getting hosed. And the guy's going, eh, like this redneck. It's like up in Seattle or Portland, right? It's like in Oregon in the woods. And he's hosing him off. And the guy's like, yeah. <laughs> and he's sitting, this guy sitting there with a the big mustache. Don't forget to wash behind his ears. Play it. Don't forget to get him behind the ears. Ah. I don't know what he, I don't even know who that guy is. I love that guy. I love that little segment. And then he gets his comeuppance too. He gets rocked. Hits rocks. Head cracks open like a friggin' watermelon. Ah! Ah! I'm very excited for this game. Let's play. Oh, are we are playing? We, yeah. So I can push start button. Hey, you gonna drum it. I'm drumming? Drumming. Drumming. Drumming! Hey, drumming! I guess it doesn't matter if I just kind of like wander past. Oh, there we go. There we I see my reticle now. 
Ta -da! Oh, I see. Oh, I, oh, we got it. Do you see where your reticle is? Yeah, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to. Yeah, I got him. I'm gonna get some. Woo! I just got run over by a truck. Grandma got run over by, by a, a big truck. truck. No! No! Coming hey, what you boys got in that tent? Yeah, hide behind the tent. Bagooge. 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 Well, this is actually... What does B do? Oh, it lights up everything! You know I call it a rail shooter? I, I think I... Man... I think Colonel Troutman is just getting his ass whooped. I mean, compared to Rambo, all the guys just like, I'm gonna stand here until somebody shoots me. Your B button is very helpful, by the way. What is my B button? Oh, I'm out. That's your. Oh, shit! Alright. Um, I got five rockets. Hey, five's a good rock. number. Hey, 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 it's gonna be nothing but us just doing our Sylvester Stallone. Ah! Go, 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 Oh, I think I just put a missile up some guy's ass, ass? falling out of a parachute. Ooh, shiza, shiza. No, these are not Germans. These are these are Afghanis. This is the night. Oh, there goes Mr. Krenna. Mr. Krenna? Mr. Krenna. What else do we know Mr. Krenna for? Can I shoot the plane? It's a very... Um... You, know what I, you know what gets me? I think that the down... No, it's actually, this is nice. Oh, make preparations. Oh, you can, can you shoot these as well? Bye bye. Oh god. I need some of those. We're both very quiet. No, I know we're playing this game. Thanks, Captain Obvious. Hey, was this was this originally for uh, controls or <laughs> was this originally for controls? That's not even an English sentence. Uh, or was this um, was this made for like a, you know, light gun? A roll ball? That would be terrible. Like 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 centipede? No. Like, do we need another Rambo movie, or do we just want another Rambo movie? Or I'm kind of into it. I'll, I'll watch it. Is it true that he's fighting werewolves? Is like because I heard he's fighting what? werewolves. What? Talking like, about werewolves. Uh, That's crazy. This guy's werewolves guy. exist. I want them all dead. I want them all. Uh, uh, werewolves uh, exist. Uh, I want them all. Sometimes I want all my werewolves Hey, we, we're about to clear a stage, I think. Are we? Hold on, I want this guy. Yeah. Uh, I want... Uh, oh, I just shot a tank and it died. I don't it's really helpful to have all of the... Uh -oh. Oh, oh, shit. shit. Shoot the tracks. Shoot the tracks. Did we get the tracks? I'm feeling... I'm shooting, I'm shooting. Is this our boss? I believe so. Uh, I have just have a, I just, I have. I mean, just click like zone, click like zone. I, I, I'm shooting a tank with a gun. Oh, a gun tank. You see the one thing that's not on fire? Aim all your, uh, aim all your stuff at the thing that's, that's on, that's not on fire. There oh, Richard Kreda just got shot to shit. <sighs> I like saying Richard Kreda. You do. Enemies were cleared. Addition of arrows. Oh, hey, God. addition of arrows. Boy, they don't let you rest. There's no rest for the wicked. Are we in a sidecar right now? Oh, no. Hey. <laughs> John, you drive. I have a friend of mine. I got a bum leg. I have a friend of mine that has a sidecar. And we were in Nashville. He's like, I'm gonna pick you up. I was like, what? He goes, Do you want me to pick you up in this or you want me to pick you up in like the SUV? I was like, dude, pick me up in the sidecar. Are you kidding me? When am I ever gonna be in one of those? Boy, I can barely see these guys because they all blend in. Those look like like we should probably be avoiding the landmines, right? Oh, I just Landmine brings you down. Ah! Hey guys, it's Stevie Nicks! Oh wow! Nah. Oh, can I get a picture? Miss Nick. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm going high on these things. I'm going high. I, uh, uh, high. Uh, it's guy. very unforgiving radical. I feel like I've said that before, and I can't blow up those landmines. Can, you can't blow them up? Yeah, but I mean, I want to save my rockets. Uh, save my rockets. They're throwing the grenades like the, at my I, face. I like the guy says, you miss. They just run by. They don't, they're like, they don't just, and they just stand there. 
reticle is really tough to... It's so sensitive. My reticle is like my frenulum. Look oh. it up, kids. What's coming? Something something bad's gotta come. Something wicked this way comes. Hey, I got more power. Hey, what is that? Is that a rock? It's just a rock. I was gonna shoot that rock. Get ready. Make preparations. Hey, enemy's area. area. What, that wasn't the enemy's area? No. Oh. Are these guys on jetpacks? Oh, wow. I shot down the helicopter. I shot the helicopter. Oh. But I did not shoot the paratroopers. Oh, yeah. I don't know if it's Jimi Hendrix that's singing that song. Oh, I just shot it down. I just shot a helicopter. Yourself, right? I just shot a helicopter, Lois. <laughs> this is just silliness right These now. These guys are like, these jetpacks are very dangerous. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I thought um, I wanted one. Hey, Andy. Uh, you're, you're not going to like this, but... uh, <laughs> Andy. We got, that's we got jetpack duty. Fuck. Dude. <laughs> By the way, have you noticed that nobody ever comes back when they take the jetpack? I don't. Out? I don't want to be on jetpack duty. Andy, get back on jetpack duty. Did you hear that? There's a guy. Uh, there's an Italian, Italian American who's killing all of us, and it's not good, bro. Oh, oh, oh! Wait, it's the same boss. Oh, he's a bit different. I can. Need, I need more power. God for unlimited lives. And thank God for the coffee. So you are aiming, you are not, you are not even shooting the thing. Aim for the, aim for the turrets, aim for the turrets. There we go, I got another one. Aim for the top right, top right, top right. There we go. Now aim for the sides. Shit. Just all, all left side, left side, left side. Bye bye, dude. I'm just fucking with you. Bye bye, dude. Enemies were cleared. Addition of arrows. Recovery of power. Oh look. Oh shit. So we get arrows. I see. Now we started off with five, and now we have ten. I can count. Oh, hedgerow. That's dangerous. That's just that's hedgerow. Bad. Hedgerow. <laughs> I'm so Rory. So. I love these guys just standing like, please shoot me next, please shoot me next, please shoot me next, please shoot me next. I wonder if this is even better like on uh, single player just because I get confused with the reticles. Theoretical. Yeah, the theoretical reticle? The reticles are driving me nuts. Theoretical reticle is a, would be a great name for a band. Theoretical reticle. Do the guys like in, um, uh, oh man, I am doing bad with the names. Bad Religion are all like, they have like doctorates and PhDs or something. They're, they're like geniuses. We've got the American Jesus, national Dude, your boy here just tried to catch a bomb. <laughs> well, I was like, oh, they're dropping bombs. Uh, oh, the go good news is he caught it and he's not only out, but he's also dead because that was an explosive grenade. That'll make the count two and two. Right? Two and two. Yep. Well done. Like Chuck Woolery said. <laughs> Put it back in two and two. Woo-hoo-hoo! -hoo! Daddy making it rain. I'm lighting it. Ooh, never mind. Continuous play. Push start button. Hit, get, get the I, you know what? I gotta stop looking for guys and just start looking at the red. Tick, 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 if we can do a super cut of all the sound effects that I've done in, in video games, that'd be awesome. I don't think we have enough time for that. Mmm. 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 Come on, get some. Get some, get some! Oh, yeah, just took them down. Oh, yeah, yeah, well, that's a nice Dude, truck. you see my gun? Look at my gun, dude. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Notice that. Hey, goosh, 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 goosh. Goosh, 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 goosh,
Oh, I got you. I got you. Stay, 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 stay. I like how that thing. Good. Push, 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 I got push. you up there. That's push, nice. Push, 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 push. Push, 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 He's speaking in tongues. This is nice. I like shooting this shit. I just shot that this guy. I just got that guy. Oh shit! Gotta lead your target. Lead I your target. tried to lead my target. target. Oh, I'm out of arrows. Oh, I just got blowed up by a damn. Oh, shit! Shit! I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you, boy. It's like I got him. I just oh, wanna talk is. to you about. Man, we're we gonna get another big gun truck, or is this our big bad? Oh, that's why I'm doing. I, my goddamn things aren't cut. Get, get that. Mm. See, he's also uh, helping us because he's dropping things, right? He's I, dropping. I don't know. I just know that my power's not doing too good. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's not. Oh, no, that looks. Big, that looks angry. Bad. Wow, I'm just, getting, <laughs> I'm just getting. I'm just getting torn. Lit up. I'm literally walking in. Good God in heaven! Oh, just keep shooting shit. Yeah! Ah, I'm actually digging this, yeah. Get some. Get, come get some. Hey, come get some. Come get some, you dirty bastards. I just bring yeah. him down? Did I just bring him down? Nice. Enemies were cleared. That's, that's you, baby. That's really Addition nice. of arrows. Let's get in our little... All right, let's go. Hey. Date sidecar. You want to drive? Who wants to drive? Why don't you drive? You have no shirt. You drive. <laughs> like evil Knievel. I'm crushing you right now. <laughs> I, I don't see this as a competition, point. though. I mean, well, we're in it together. I think so. I mean, you know what? I'd be happy to give you it in as 80 point thousand, oh. 80 thousand, 800 thousand. 800 thousand. 800 thousand point. If he lead. could convert that into dollars. I retire right now. He would retire. He'd be like, you're dead. I don't care anymore. <laughs> if you die, it's fine. Colonel, whatever your name was. <laughs> I don't know anymore. Colonel Chapman. Damn it, his name is John Rambaugh. This may have cleared up some questions for you earlier when we were talking about which franchise did what. If I had read the... Wait for it. Wait for it. And... What? In the film, the main plot centers on former Vietnam-era Green Barrett, John Rambo being recalled to duty one last time to rescue his former commander, Colonel Sam Tutman, who was captured during a covert operation mission in Soviet Union controlled Afghanistan. Because they often time, will send a man in his 60s for a covert operation. Yeah, <laughs> right? You're almost dead. You should go. Really? Taito's Rambo 3 arcade game has roughly. Yes? I don't. Have a question? Before I go on this mission, I should let you know I don't speak a word of Russian. That's okay. We're fine with that. Not right. And uh, glad to do my duty. We absolutely should not be sending you know younger, able-bodied people who don't require medication. <laughs> I need to take my back pill. I <laughs> said, <laughs> "All right, boots on the ground. Just give me one second. What day is it? Tuesday. <laughs> oh, I can never remember. Keep these track of these things. Hold on, I need my glass. Hold on." While you do that, I'll check my insulin levels. I've been getting too much sugar. Mm. <laughs> All right. <laughs> back into the... All right, right. back into... Hold and on. They're just like... Hold on. Hold on, my hip. I don't know if we should kill uh, these my people. My hip. <laughs> they, they'll be he's, dead in my... He's almost already <laughs> dead, this hey, poor man. it's okay. You can go. No, 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 no. It's okay. No, I don't shoot you. No, I don't shoot you. No. Bye. You have, uh, you have a bit of pee <laughs> on your pants. <laughs> Yeah, well, it's it's my prostate. <laughs> my prostate is <laughs> swollen like a goddamn grapefruit. <sighs> yeah, I haven't shit straight in four days. My prostate's killing me and dribble pee every time. There it goes again. God dang it. Hey, we're still on the mission. <laughs> hey, 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 you know what we should do? Yes. We should go take care of the uh, right. Ruskies, right? Right. And I got a way to do it. Right. STD from your mother. 
<laughs> Taking some of them Russian Poles. Polish Poles. <laughs> Soviet bloc. Soviet bloc. <laughs> Your mother's a beautiful woman. Even in Russia. Oh, man. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> the guy falling asleep. I just look at the pills. I have a, a sidebar for you. Go. That has to do with Rambo oh, and what? Sly Stallone. Mm -hmm. The hair today. Yeah. On point. But it's got a little Bridget Nielsen to it. <gasps> Ooh, that's bringing it around. Brigitte Nielsen? Brigitte Nielsen. Former spouse. What? Mass. She's uh, a she's she a was, very large woman. And the last we saw Bridget Nielsen was hanging out in a park. I think it's the park off Hollywood Way in Burbank, just sitting there smoking cigarettes, looking sad. What? What? what, 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 what? Pull up the picture. But back in the day, she was like Red Sonia, right? She was like the, yeah, the female Stallone, so Schwarzenegger. Um, I always thought, because you never saw her at the same time with Dolph Lundgren, they were the same person. They just gave Dolph some tits and said, mm, go. He's like, Ugh. It, it could Dolph have been. Lundgren was also not Russian. Oh, he's Swedish. He's, no, he's like Santa Monica, dude. Dolph Lundgren, but he's, he's Lundgren, isn't he? I'm, I'm sure. He's not from Sweden, I mean. Right, he's, Dolph Lundgren. I thought, he, I thought he was from Europe, though. Is this Swedish actor film and martial artist? I think it was interesting though. Did you see the what was the uh, the movies? Was the the bodyguard for Grace not Jones. Expendables, right? What was the movie that he wasn't he wasn't Expendables? Was isn't that what, what Stallone? They've got all That's the action stars, his, all, all the them. action stars in the eighties. They got Bruce Willis, yeah. Um, and they got who was the last one that they had in there? They only could get for like Arnold Schwarzenegger was in there for like Didn't Jason a Statham show up. Jason Statham, I'll do anything they ask as long as I have money and I get to kick punch someone, preferably a child. To the face. Everything I say is annoyed, isn't it? <laughs> hey, how were your eggs? They're fucking delicious. Aren't they? Are, are Would you like more coffee? Why wouldn't I want more coffee? Best coffee I've ever had. Is he that. being sarcastic? I don't <laughs> yeah. know what to do with this. The look on his face is always... Who farted? <laughs> it's like someone farted on an airplane. Everyone gets to taste it. <laughs> what is somebody did that on my flight recently? Can you imagine? I was like, I what ate. You mean one. someone farted on a plane recently? No, no, but like, like it hit, it hit with the, with the, like it's in your teeth. It hit with the passion of a freshly run over skunk. Mm. I was just sitting there reading something on my phone. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> it was like egg. It was like egg. Somebody, it's like somebody walked up, sir. Would you like a drink or some of that? I was like, <laughs> 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 some of that. The next, the next three hours on a plane with a gas mask. Uh, that's, what the, that's what the blanket's for. Whenever someone goes, I'm so sorry, can I have a blanket, please? You're like, you're going to fart, aren't you? Do you have a charcoal <laughs> pillow? <laughs> I'm about to shit myself. <laughs> and we what just took off. What is that? What is that where it's like, I... Uh, uh, Mary Elizabeth McGlynn said one time, she was, was sat next to Ed Asner. <laughs> and she was just, she was like, I can't believe I'm sat next to Ed Asner. And she said that she's like, I'm, I'm not sure how I'm going to break the, the the ice with him, whatever. And he's got, she's got the window and he's got the aisle, whatever. And he's just sitting in there and she's not sure what to say to him. And they're just sitting on the runway and he goes, I can't wait until we take off and I can break wind. And she was like, I'm Mary Elizabeth. Because like, I'm Ed. She was like, and that's how the, the, the first thing out of Ed Azar's mouth was, I can't wait till we can take off and I can break wind. Good man. Funny man. Been around for a long time. Got to work with him on Young Justice? Maybe season one? Mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. And Jeff Glenn Bennett, great voice actor, sitting on one side. And Ed Asner sitting here, and I'm right to his right. And Ed Asner decided at a voiceover session to wear a corduroy pants and corduroy shirt. <laughs> Every Race time quarters he moved. Race quarters down the legs. <laughs> Every time he moved. That's like an Indiana tuxedo. Possibly the greatest thing <laughs> he's ever come out of his mouth. <laughs> the Indiana tuxedo. No offense to people in Indiana, but you do like your corduroy. Come on, man. Come on. Well, uh, I'm, I'm, ready, I'm ready to, to destroy. See how many arrows we can um, get? 
You want to take us oh out? Oh my god, I will. As I take these guys out, we ask you, what do we play next? What's that guy doing? What's that guy? Oh! oh no! He's running. He's running. Oh man, I was looking at your reticle. You're very good at this. Don't look at my reticle. Keep your reticles to yourself. <laughs>